Today, I'm bringing to you 10 amigurumi designers that you've never heard of before. Now, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, a little hyperbole, but I'm really hoping that these are new to you amigurumi designers. You may have heard of a few, but I actually think that there are going to be a couple that maybe you haven't heard of before, that you haven't seen their work. In my opinion, these are some of the best designs out there, and I was very particular about making sure that the designers that I chose actually have active patterns shops that you're easily able to get patterns through their Etsy, Ravelry, or their own stores so that you can get them for yourself. I'm also sharing one of my best tips. It's actually a tip that I didn't know was a good tip until really recently. So I'm going to be sharing that with you and let's go ahead and get started. You ready, Steve? Steve's ready. First of all, you are going to find links for everything in the description box below. You're going to find links to all the patterns, all the Etsy shops as well. If you would like to go to my blog post, I'm going to have links to all their Instagram accounts, all of their Etsy shops, all of the things that I'm going to be talking about. It's a little more organized on the blog post, but you can find everything that you actually need in the description box below. But there is something that I've been meaning to tell you guys, and I honestly keep forgetting. I am so scatterbrained. I'm a little bit like Steve here, a little squirrel squirrely and I forget things a lot. But I have a newsletter that I send out every single month. Now it's not been that long that I've been doing it, but I started back in March and it really is a great thing. I'm really enjoying doing it and I think the people who are receiving it like it. If you're out there, I hope you like it. I usually try to add something a little special for my newsletter recipients that you don't get anywhere else. So my newsletter always has a little something extra special for the recipient. So if you want to get in on my newsletter, head to the blog post below. You're going to see a little pop-up with a little face. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. Type in your email, and if you don't see the little pop-up, you can go into the actual blog post, and you will see a place where you can insert your own email address, and you will get an email from me once a month. The newsletter is only once a month. I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to sell your email. I don't even know how to do that. I wouldn't even know how to do that, so <laughs> there's no worries there. I'm not going to spam you. I will only only send you one newsletter a month plus if I end up having some kind of a special offer I will send it I have something in the works right now all of is grabbing on to me right now <laughs> but otherwise don't be concerned that I'm going to spam you I promise I promise I won't I hate getting emails from companies and people every single day so don't worry I'm not gonna do that to you so the first designer that we are going to look at is Yun Young Lee from Big Bebez now I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but I will We'll leave a link for her account in the description box below so that you can find it. She very generously offered me any pattern of my choice from her collection and as I was looking through I honestly had a very difficult time choosing one because I love her designs. They are so quirky, they're so cute, and this was the pattern that I chose. This is the squirrel and I just think he looks so adorable. I love his little face, his little, I'm calling it his acorn purse, but I'm sure he's a guy he probably would prefer a pouch a little knapsack something like that I just think he turned out really really cute the thing that I love about this pattern is that it is very clear there are really nice photos of all of the techniques that you're going to do there's nothing really surprising or difficult to do the only thing that is a little bit like you have to watch really closely is the little tail part but she does a great job of explaining each part of this pattern I would recommend this pattern for intermediate and up. So if you're pretty confident in your crocheting and amigurumi skills, even if you don't know everything, which is totally fine, you will be able to make this pattern. He is really, really cute. I can't get over how cute he is. The other thing that I love about this pattern is that there is very, very little embroidery to do. It literally is this little T of his nose and his little mouth there. That's it. You don't need to do any kind of fancy embroidering, any kind of satin stitching, nothing like that. So it makes it super simple to get an adorable toy. I think you're pretty cute. 
I'm going to do my best to pronounce the names of these crochet designers, but many of them are not English, so I may butcher their names, and for that, I totally apologize, but like I said before, you're going to be able to find links to everything in the description box below. But the next designer is Amorpho Crochet. Now, I have been a big fan of hers for quite some time now. I have not actually crocheted any of her patterns yet, but I definitely plan to. She mostly does dolls and she has some of the cutest designs out there. I love that many of her designs are iconic figures like Anne of Green Gables and Mary Poppins. She even has a Princess Leia. She also has a beautiful, beautiful nativity scene that I would really love to crochet at some point. I actually have one of her designs is kind of on my list of toys to make and I can't wait to share that with you sometime in the future, but go check her out. I'm going to pause the Amigurumi designer feature just for a minute because I want to give you one of the best tips that I could ever give you and I didn't even know this was a good tip until really recently. One of my really good friends, Katie, messaged me and just kind of let me know, hey, I just tried the yarn that you recommended and I cannot believe what a difference it actually makes. She was actually knitting one of the little cotton rabbits and previously she had been having some issues with the seaming. What she didn't realize was a lot of her seaming issues had to do with not her technique but had to do with the yarn that she was using. So I wanted to just pop in here really briefly and talk to those of you if you are not happy with your finished toy that you are crocheting it might not be you it might be your yarn. I happened to just stumble upon this yarn one day when I was in a local yarn shop and I fell in love with it because of the feel and the colors. I was looking for a worsted weight yarn and I loved this yarn. This is the Barocco Vintage. I talk about it all the time. I made little Steve the Squirrel fully in this yarn. Now a lot of people comment, oh my gosh, I just love how your toys look. I love how your stitches are so neat and clean and there aren't any holes. Part of that is yes, I have been crocheting for a while now and I do crochet a lot of amigurumi, but part of it is also my yarn choice. This yarn is so beautiful. It looks so gorgeous when you crochet it. So if you are unhappy with what you're doing, I would highly recommend that you purchase this yarn. It's a mid-range. It's not super expensive. It's not super cheap but I promise you that you will probably be, ha well, I can't promise you. I believe that you're going to be happy if you try this yarn. I think you're going to love the colors. I think you're going to love how it feels. And I would be surprised if you didn't like how your toys come out just a little bit more. One of the things about it is that there's a little bit of a halo with this yarn. And what that means, it's a little bit fuzzy and that kind of hides some imperfections. It also lets your stitches, even though your stitches should be tight, this also because of that little bit of halo hides any small holes that you might have, which I think is really, really good. So I would really recommend this one. If you don't really like this one or you can't find it, I'm going to leave a link for it in the description box below. I order mine from Love Crafts. They ship worldwide. There is a distribution center here in the United States, I found out. So that's why I get my yarn so quickly. They are a company based out of the UK, but you can also get, this is the paint box, wool mix, Erin. I also make Amigurumi from this. This is my second favorite. I don't love it quite as much as the Barocco Vintage just because this one's so soft. I really love it. But the Paint Box Wool Mix Erin is also a great choice. You will have so many different colors. These yarns have a structure to them that actually improve the quality of your Amigurumi. I think you would really like either one of these yarns. They're big. They're three and a half ounces each. So you're not going to use up a whole one with one toy unless you're making some super sized toy. But I would kind of doubt it. I have never used one of these up on one toy. They use a little bit up with this little guy. I used how many different colors? One, two, three, four, five, six actually different colors with him. So it's just a little bit of yarn each. So even though you may feel like, oh, that's a lot to buy, you're going to get a lot out of each skein and hank of this yarn. My other recommendation is to get a good crochet hook. I fully believe in my Furls crochet hook. Yes, they are expensive, but I only have one. Well, I have more than one, but I only use one. They are ergonomically designed so it is less tension on my wrists and my elbows and I've talked about that before. You can find that video if you're dealing with some pain from crocheting or knitting. One of the things that I really like about this crochet hook in particular, number one it's metal. I would never use wood. I've tried wood. It just doesn't work for amigurumi. Is that it has a really pointed tip on the end. So if you're doing an invisible decrease or you are trying to get nice tight stitches that 
pointier end right here is very helpful. It also has like a taper here so that you can get your stitches really tight. I know that this is an investment, but it's one of those things that if you order one size, I use the Barocco Vintage and the Wool Mix Aran. They are both a worsted and that this is an Aran weight, which is about the same, but I use a 3.5 millimeter, which is a size E hook. It's the only one I need for my amigurumi. I don't crochet amigurumi in any other size hook. So you only need one. I really think that you will find this a superior crochet hook. I really think they are a great investment. They are beautiful to look at, but more importantly, they are very, very practical. The third designer is Hane Chan. And if you have never seen her work, oh, you are in for such a treat. What I really love about her designs is that they are very crisp. They're very clean. They are simple, but they are totally adorable. I really think you're going to like them. Her little cats are so, so cute. So go check her out as well. I think you're really going to like her beautiful designs. Little Owlette is the next Amigurumi designer I want to share with you guys. And oh my goodness, guys, I love these patterns so much. I've actually crocheted two of them. I made the little fox and I made a lamb. Her patterns are absolutely beautiful. They look like they came out of an old fairy tale. She uses a lot of neutral colors. It's just really beautiful. I also love an owl pattern that she has. It's absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. Oh, Olive. Ooh, that cat is running around in here. She's going to knock stuff over. I really think you're going to love these designs. They are very unique. They're very different, and I just love them all. The next designer is Seda from Kedito. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. She is a Turkish designer, and what I really love about her amigurumi patterns is that they are just simple, but they are beautiful. They have personalities, and her little lion is probably one of my favorite lion patterns that I have seen. They're just so beautiful. But one of the wonderful things about Seda is that she has this beautiful Instagram page, so you might want to go ahead and see that. Her stories are absolutely beautiful. She shares life on the Turkish Mediterranean coast. It looks so beautiful, and they are renovating this van that they are going to travel in. It looks so much fun. It's just really, really a neat account. I love the patterns. I love Seda. It is just a fantastic account to follow. The next designer is Zip Zip Dreams, and this one is probably one of the more well-known designers. Some of her work is in the Zumi Gurumi books, seven and eight to be exact, but if you have not seen her patterns, they are absolutely adorable. She has a Dracula pattern that I'm going to need to make because he is just so darn cute. She has tons of patterns, and some of the things that I really like about them is that she has a lot of holiday themed toys to make, and I really love that. So you're going to want to check out her adorable, adorable patterns. The next pattern designer is Sasha Koffer. If you have not seen these beautiful patterns, you need to. I have never seen anything quite like them before. She does a technique where she combines amigurumi with cross stitch and she creates these beautiful bunnies that have cross stitched flowers on them that is absolutely so beautiful. I could see it on a beautiful bed. I could see them in a nursery. I could just see them as beautiful loved toys. She also has some dolls that are just precious. They have such loving features. I don't know how she makes her toys look so human and with so much emotion, but you are going to want to check out her beautiful patterns and she has a beautiful Instagram page. I cannot get over just how gorgeous her work is. The next pattern designer is Lulu Loves the Moon, and I love this account so much. Elisa has some of the cutest bunny patterns I have ever seen. I love bunnies, and I really think that hers are some of the cutest. They are on my list to make. One of the things that I really like about her bunnies that is a little bit different is they're wearing these little overalls that are kind of droopy, and they just look so darn cute. She has a beautiful Instagram account as well, so you might want to go follow her there, but go check out these adorable patterns. They are just precious. The next designer is Manuska Crochet, and this account is so, so beautiful. Her work has been featured on the cover of Molly Makes Magazine. It's a beautiful swan. She also has patterns for these beautiful Frida Kahlo dolls. Now, I am a huge fan of Frida Kahlo. I kind of got into it after I saw the movie Coco, and I started looking into Frida Kahlo, and I watched the movie with Selma Hayek, and I cannot remember the name of it, but it was so good. And I just really got 
interested in the art and life of Frida Kahlo. She was an amazing Mexican folk artist and her colors and her design and her spirit and she was just such an amazing lady. But you are going to want to check out Manuska Crochet and you'll find all that information in the link below. If you look up Ami Gurumi patterns on Pinterest, you have likely come across this account. This is Wool to Stitch Handmade. She has one of the most beautiful reindeer patterns I have ever seen. It is a very muted tones, beautiful soft pastels, but the reindeer has these beautiful flower crown going on amongst the antlers and it's just a really beautiful pattern. I really love this account as well just for inspiration on her Instagram page. It is really beautiful. I think you're going to love these designs. You can find her patterns on Etsy and they are just so beautiful. I also like that she has the baby rattle patterns that I think are really nice that have the wooden ring. I think that is a really great thing to make as a baby gift or if you have a baby yourself. I also like that she uses embroidery for the eyes because as we've talked about before, sometimes safety eyes aren't the best thing if you are going to be gifting something or giving a toy to a baby. And I love that they just look like sleepy little pretty reindeers and I think you are really going to like them. I really hope that you enjoyed this video today. I would love to know if any of these Amigurumi designers are new to you, if there was one that really stood out to you as one of your favorites. But Steve and I would love to thank you for stopping by the Le Petit Saint Crochet YouTube channel today. And if you would like to sign up for my newsletter, you will find a link to that in the description box as well. I've got a few other videos for you in case you would like to spend a little more time with me. But as always, thank you so much. If you would hit that like button and that subscribe button, Steve would really appreciate it. Right, Steve? Steve says yes. Thank you, everybody. Happy stitching.